Welcome back to another day in the life of a reseller vlog. Today is Wednesday, March 6th. I've been busy this morning. I got another day in the life of a reseller vlog posted to my uh, channel as well as uh, last night I posted a walk around Cornwall Park kind of relaxed uh, nature walk if you want to check that out. That's up there now as well. I finished listing those five hats that I photographed last night. Uh, we'll probably do a few more hat listings today. But first, let's take a look and see what sold out of the big store. Looks like we had four sales for $62.68 out of the big store overnight. Let's see what sold. First item sold for $17.28 is a pair of Volcom black drawstring swimming board short size extra large 38 waist by 10.5 inch inseam. Second item sold for $15.15. .15. It's a USS Mason CVN 69 blue and yellow baseball hat. One size fits all snapback cap. And uh, just a reminder that uh, yellow on the cap to on the brim there is called scrambled eggs. Third item sold for $16.13. It's a gray women's linen cotton hooded sweatshirt hoodie women's size large keyword shirt. And finally, another hat sold for $14.12. It's a Quake City Caps Hyundai black baseball hat. One size fits all strap back. So a couple hats, a pair of shorts, and a hoodie, $62 and change. I'm going to go locate those four items, uh, get some shipping labels on them, and get them ready to go out to the customer. All right, through the magic of video, there they appear. Four new orders ready for shipping labels. Let's get them printed and get these ready for the customer. All right, let's get these labels printed and get these ready for the customer. Four orders ready to go out the door. All right, we got an empty tote again. Let's fill it up. We got four orders. One. Two, three, and four. So I know we did have at least one order come into the small store late last night. Didn't, didn't get a chance to uh, pack that one up. So I'm going to log into the small store, see if we had any other action overnight, if any other orders rolled in, and uh, pack those up as well. Let's do it. Here's a quick look at the latest hats going up into the big store. One, two, three. Four and one more down here and the rest of those shorts we got on so we got some fresh inventory a little adidas hat up here women's golf hat this was actually a hockey team um the red rochester rochester red wings rochester red wings and over here we got the philadelphia phillies down here we got a mobile one racing hat so uh, all kinds of fun new hats going up into the store all right, it looks like we still have just that one order that came in late last night, a pair of jeans. Let me show you what sold last night. Here it is, this pair of jeans sold for $18.24. It's a pair of cabby blue jeans, size four, denim pants, cotton blend, 89.11, size 30 inch waist by 31 inch inseam. So a nice pair of cabby jeans, not a high-end brand, but uh, somebody bought these uh, cotton elastral, elastral blend. I think that's a fancy way of saying spandex but uh, nice looking pair of jeans 1824 they sold for I'm gonna go grab those from inventory and we'll get some uh, shipping label on it to go out with the others so I've got these new listings to put away into the small store as well so a little housekeeping as well and right, let's get this label printed for these jeans all right we got one more ready for the tote all right, so now that we got orders packed up, I thought I'd let you guys know that today I'm going to take a trip south to visit with my mom. I pick up some more of that jewelry. Those of you who have been watching the channel know that I bought a $400 jewelry lot. And my mom's been working on uh, getting that organized. So we'll give you an update on that. I'll load up on some more jewelry to list this week. Hopefully get some more of those jewelry listings on this week and this weekend. Um, haven't had a lot of those jewelry items sell yet, but I haven't re really listed a lot of them yet either. Just a handful of rings and a few necklaces. So we're going to get back into the jewelry listing mode and uh, go gather some of that and see how much progress my mom has made on that lot. I know she's been uh, working hard on it, so uh, we'll take a look and see what she's done. So we got all the necklaces hanging here. Mom has separated everything. We got all up here. 
All right, I made it to mom's place. I'm gonna give you guys an update on this jewelry lot. She's been working hard on this. She got all the earrings on the little cards. I think there was a 96 pairs of earrings. Let me give you guys a look at those. Look at all these 96 pairs of earrings. She put them all on little cardboard and got them all polished up, looking nice, ready to be sold. So now I gotta do the hard work and uh, get them uh, photographed and listed. Well, most of the work has been done as you can see. 96 pair we just counted them 96 pair and there's some a few sets here at the end um, These were little trios uh, they included a necklace and earrings and uh, Another item and then there was one pair of silver this those were the one pair of silver earrings in the whole lot So those are marked 925 so uh, we can ask a little bit more for those so she did the earrings but she also did the brooches and the bracelets and we had the rings from before let me give you a reminder of what those rings look like last time i was here i think i grabbed 10 rings and got those listed but we still have all these to get through so i'm going to grab a few more today and just work on listing these into the store Here's a look at all the brooches uh, put them on little cardboard Make it easy to photograph and list. So uh, I'll probably grab a few of these as well and get some of these listed into the store this week as well. Just chip away at it and start listing. Uh, Got to make that $400 back one way or another. So you saw the rings, you saw the earrings, uh, you saw the necklaces, but there were also bracelets. Let me show you those. This box was some of the nicer bracelets. She put them all out here on this nice box. Um, so I'll probably grab a handful of these as well. I've got to decide what I want to list this week. Uh, there's so much to go through. As you can see, there was a, quite a bit of jewelry when you get all down to it and get it all separated. I think this came in, uh, I think, four jewelry boxes. Even more bracelets hanging here. Um, plenty of inventory to grab and list from today. So I'm going to go uh, decide what I want to get and bring home the list. So I made the decision of what I'm going to bring home the list. Uh, we got it set out here. I pulled 10 rings as well as the brooches and some lapel pins and whatnot on the cardboard. I think that's what I'm going to start with this week. Bring that stuff home and uh, get that stuff listed this week. Here's a look at it. Of course, I'll give you guys an update as I list these into the store. Um, I'm not going to do it all in one day. It's going to take me a while. I'll probably do 10 a day until I get these on. It might take me a while, but uh, that's the goal this week to attack these uh, jewelry items and get some of those online. All right, there it is in the back of the Prius. We got this stuff ready to go home and get listed. I'm going to try to find these items new homes. If you see anything you like, uh, you can go on my site and buy it. Plenty of fun little pins. I'm going to keep the prices low. I'm not going to get too crazy with it. Probably five to ten dollars on most of these items. And uh, we're going to get them listed and hopefully get some of them sold. We do have some rings and some necklaces already listed, uh, but these are also going to go up, these uh, 10 rings. I'll get those up quickly and uh, add to the lot of jewelry, the $400 lot. We're trying to uh, get all of this listed and sold. Have yet to make a lot of jewelry sales, but it's going to take some time to get uh, into those categories and really uh, find the market for it. All right, I just got back from my visit from my mom's. I have that jewelry with me. Came home to two hat orders, also showed up at the door. I'm gonna give you guys a look at those, add those to the hats in the photo station, and then probably edit my uh, little hike around uh, River Meadows Park over there in uh, Arlington. Here's a look at the orders as they showed up at the door. A couple hat orders. Let's take a look and see what we got. So it looks like, just check my big store while I was visiting with my mom. Uh, three orders came in for $50.65 while I was away. I'll give you guys a look at those in a moment as well. Here's a look at the first hat lot that I bought. It was these two hats. Paid $14.01 for these two hats. Chicago Bulls and Boston Celtics. Let's give you a look at the photos they took. Uh, there they are, the Bulls hat. A uh, nice uh, Celtics hat as well. And... Uh, Let's take a look at them in person. Here they are. I just took them out of the box. Here's that bull's hat. Look at that. Benny the Bull on there. It's got kind of a embroidered area right here. Also a Benny. And uh, I think this one is fitted. Yeah, this is a new era fitted size 7 and uh, 3 quarters. So a nice fitted hat. Says Chicago on the back there. Looks to be pretty clean. New era. I know a lot of people search those. This one does say Windy City. 
uh, with the bowl on the front there. So that's a nice looking hat. Uh, fourteen oh one. We paid for both of these. That one right there is definitely worth more than fourteen dollars. And then we get this one, a Boston Celtics hat. This one's kind of cool because it has the Celtics logo on the side there as well. This one is a, a snapback and uh, looks like a forty-seven brand. That's a popular uh, sports brand as well. So a nice look in the Boston Celtics hat. Both those hats probably twenty dollar hats I would say. So we're looking at uh, turning our fourteen dollars into forty. So uh, not a bad little flip. All right, here's a look at the other lot that I paid ten dollars and fifty one cents for this lot. It's a uh, two brand new Diamondbacks Arizona Diamondbacks hats, adjustable team, Major League Baseball branded. Um, just had the one photo so they went with one photo and that one sold it that's probably why it didn't get many bids but let's take a look at it in person there they are two nice Arizona Diamondbacks look at that logo nice fresh logo they listed these as brand new I'm not sure if I would call them brand new but uh, they are in good condition um, as you can see uh, the Major League of Baseball OC Sports is actually the brand uh, team MLB one size fits most. They seem a little bit small. They might even be acrylic or wool. So nicer uh, constructed hats. Uh, the good thing about having two shops, two stores, is that uh, you can put one in one and one in another. So that's probably what I'll do. Split these up between my two shops. Put one in one store and one in the small store. And uh, hopefully they will get some sales. Turn that $10.51 into 40 again. That's the goal. Uh, so I think I should do all right on these two brand new hats. Uh, new without tags, I guess you would call them. All right, it's after nine o'clock now. I just got that River Meadows hike a video posted to my YouTube channel. If you want to check those out, uh, it's a kind of a mellow hike through the Arlington Park. There, um, pictures or video of the water and everything over there. It's only about ten minutes long, so it's a fun little uh, video that you could wind down to at the end of the night if you're interested uh, I did have some orders roll through it looks like I have five orders now but I think it's getting kinda late and I'm gonna wait and hold off on showing you those until tomorrow morning and we'll pack those up tomorrow morning and we'll get going again I was a little sidetracked took that trip south and uh, got that jewelry I got that here ready to be listed as well uh, so we got hats we got jewelry we got all kinds of good stuff in the photo station to get listed so we'll get some photos taken tomorrow. We'll begin listing some of that fresh inventory and hopefully that will lead to a few great sales. Um, sales were kind of slow today, but uh, they'll pick up, I'm sure. Um, the tote was about half full, so uh, hopefully we're going to get a full tote again in the next couple of days. So that's the plan. But I want to thank everybody for watching this one to the end. Like I said, if you want to see that River Meadows hike, that took up most of my day today. Went on a little hike with mom through River Meadows. Uh, saw the sights over that way. So click on that video and then come on back tomorrow. And uh, this one will be dropping every morning. We have a day in the life of a reseller vlog posted. So uh, make a habit of watching those. Click play and keep up with what is going on in my life, in my business and everything else. So thanks again for watching this one. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye.